Andrews Automotive Archaeology. This is uh, another video where I uh, unbox a tote of parts from Phillips and Ford, formerly of Argyle, Wisconsin. Um, closed about 20 years ago. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, this is tote number 28, I believe. Um, and I got it open here, and I'm just going to start throwing out parts. Uh, 1950s uh, valve rocker arm cover gaskets, and I can probably tell you, well, there's only, yeah, there's a pair in here. I don't, yeah, the problem with these, they're cork. Uh, well, I can tell you, this one's already been damaged. Um, The problem with this stuff is it's been sitting in a warehouse and it's just, I'm sure these are the same way, yeah, they're just going to break. So unfortunately, uh, cool as they are, they go in the garbage. Alright, um, oh, we got a bunch of interesting stuff in here, um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, it was a place of business. I do run into a lot of um, a lot of uh, business like office type related stuff, not necessarily Ford related. But this is a credit card um, machine where you would put the card in here and run the carbon copy. It would this would make the carbon copies from the raised bits on the card. And here's the Phillips and Ford Argyle, Wisconsin. Um, ID number in there. Uh, these, I can tell you, are worth nothing. Uh, they're not really old enough to be any kind of vintage interest. Uh, probably never will be. Um, okay, uh, this is interesting. Um, I had a couple of these before. Um, I had uh, some earlier stuff, uh, Courier and some other board stuff. These are microforms. Um, and these are Ford products. Um, they're, they are uh, parts catalogs. Like this one is 73 to 76 Ford car master microfilm parts catalog. So you'd have to have a microform uh, reader. It's like a, you know, like a microfilm, like the thing you used to go to the library to see. You probably still do. Uh, this is a pretty good collection. This is probably all of them. Uh, I had a couple, I think I had four of these that I sold. They didn't go for much. Put them up for auction. Starting bit at 99 cents. I think they went for 99 cents each. Um, but these, are, as far as I know, are full catalogs. Uh, full parts catalogs. So I don't have a microform reader. Um, 73 to 79 Ford car. Um, I'm just gonna open one of these. Well, they're not even. I'm just gonna open one of these at random, see what it is. Uh, okay, Spe okay. Service recall bulletin and index issued May 1979. Uh, yeah, so I guess there's there's parts catalogs and there's probably service bulletins and other recall notices and things of that sort. Um, <clears throat> Ford and LM. Master cross reference list volumes two, three, four, and five. Uh, this will be interesting. I'll go through this probably, you know, before I list it and just see what see what all is here. Body parts left side odd, right side even. Um, this is 1980 to 82 Ford car master microform parts catalog. <clears throat> I think that these would sell fairly well as a lot. Uh, I'm not sure I'd want to split them up. Oh. The Amazing Story of Henry Ford. Mrs. Henry Ford. Okay. Oh, so this is probably this is an old book. Uh, 
I don't know if it's got a, it doesn't seem to have any usual copyright stuff in the front. I wonder if it's in the back. Is that a bookmark? That's interesting. I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to look this up. It's probably not worth much, but. Well, there's an order. Order. Uh, Hendrickson, Philipson. I would say 19 teen teens, somewhere in there. Um, interesting. Uh, I'll look that up. It's, it's a curiosity, probably. Uh, probably not worth much. Uh, here's another parts service. Okay, 77 truck shop manual. Um, I'm going to throw that in the tote with the rest of them. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, I think, I'm going to have to move these out of the way. I think what this is, is from a Mustang. Or ZB, uh, Z, yeah, this is a 65 Mustang headlight. Um, it's not the bucket assembly, but it's the it's the the sheet metal frame part that the bucket headlight assembly goes into. Um, I had one of these. I had one of these that was complete in the box a couple months ago. I think I, I think it sold for 300. So these are these are fairly uh, hard to come by, and uh, this one's NOS, so this will be a good one. Um, I'll just set that off to the side. <clears throat> Motorcraft air filter. Uh, the best thing about this is the box it's in. It's good cardboard I can use for packing material if I need it. Uh, this is. There's your change thing. Air filters. I've mentioned this before. Uh, I've tried selling air filters and oil filters in the past, and unless you have a bunch of them, uh, they're just not worth. They're not worth even trying. Nice, so I just throw them in the garbage when I find them. <clears throat> ah, another book. Ah, this must be the library section of uh, Phillips and Ford. Selling sense. Ford division. Ford Motor Company. Okay, so this is be. A, I think this is a '50s. 40s, 50s publication, probably. Unlimited opportunities. The salesman's job. The first three minutes. Managing your time. Where to find prospects. Prospecting by mail. Prospecting by telephone. Prospecting in person. Nothing about the internet. Uh, 1954. That's interesting. I'll look that up, too. That may, you know, who knows. Um... Wall pen. It's empty. It's just a box. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, eyedroppers. Okay. Huh. Must be for filling your wall pen. I don't know. Probably not worth anything. Curiosity, though. Universal Fender T bolts. Oh. Huh. Some nuts in the bottom. Those are interesting. I don't know. Don't know anything about those. Never seen them before. That's the thing. Even though I've been doing this a while, I still see, uh, still find stuff I have never seen. Ah, uh, razor blade. Uh, nineteen. Oh, this is sealed. Okay. Uh, this is a truck. Um, hubcap. That'll sell. Um. A lot of times, the thing with with hubcaps are, unless they're absolutely in perfect condition and in a set of four, nobody wants them. And then, if they are perfect condition in a set of four, people will pay an ungodly amount of money for them. It's it's crazy. So I don't know. This you know I might be able to get something for that. It's it's sealed in the box. It's old enough. Uh, it should be a decent part to sell. Uh, now I've got a bunch of, what the heck is that? It's a nice bronze bushing of some kind. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> uh, here are some, oh, is this a chain? Some chain. Uh, probably be a good, well, there's some odds and ends stuff in here. I'm not really sure. 
Oh, cool. Number stamps. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, one and zero, and a period. Uh, oh, there's one that spilled out. This is a, well, that's probably from a different one. Um, here, let me move this over so I can actually get this out so we can look at it. So that's, these are rubber stamps. Um, looks like there's some more in here. Ah, okay. Oh boy, the box is open and they all spilled out. Okay, so that's these. One, two, zero, four. Um, hopefully they'll be in the bottom of the box here. Oh, here's a nine a nine inch ruler um, uh, it's a murder weapon of some kind <laughs> uh, no idea what that is oh is that a knife sharpener might be might be what that is um, This looks like an old Stanley screwdriver. These are actually pretty good quality. Uh, they're not worth much, but um, unless you want to use one. Uh, Amway shop without going shopping. That's pretty much how it all goes now. Oh, there's a John Deere pencil. Um, there's an old ink pen. Another pen, uh, souvenir pens, not worth much of anything. Here is a, uh, it's an old bank pen, souvenir pen. Yeah, not worth anything. A hinge, half of a hinge. Oh. John Deere paper clips. Well, I can always use paper clips in my office. Okay, here's a couple more. This is why I'm going through this kind of carefully because I'm looking for these uh, little stamps that spilled out here. Uh, they're sitting here. Here's another one. And there's an em empty bag with no label or anything on it. Um, white Flowmatic. Who's Who's Falls, New York? White Flowmatic. I guess that's a uh, I guess that's a fuel filter of some kind. Inline filter. Ah, so this seems to be what they've found to use these old uh, film strip can canisters for, uh, as, as little um, canisters for holding like little nails and screws and things. Um, oh boy, razor blades. Huh. Oh God, razor blades all over the place. I don't know what this is. It is hooks for ironing. Hundred eye ends. Uh, I'm not sure what those are. It's tied shut. I'll have to open it up. Uh, oh, there's the other half of the hinge. No, it's not. It's a half of another hinge. Um. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. It's it's broken. Probably it's a little reflector. It's not even a light. It's probably not worth anything if it's broken. Um, let's get this stuff out of here. I've got. I don't have room to put this on camera. This is a box. I think it's brakes. No, it is a water pump. Um, another one of these uh, dealers manufacturing. Authorized rebuilds, remanufactured, 1982. D, uh, D. Can't think of what that is off the top of my head. Um, I got a couple of these in here. Here's another one. I think this is probably a water pump or a 103. No, not a water pump. Um,
alternator. Okay, that's what this is. This is a... Wow, that is rough shape. Look at that. I don't know what, what the part number is on this. E2, 1980G. I think that's a Granada. Maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That could be worth something. Might not be. Um, I don't see. Oh, here's another one of those. <laughs> uh, let's see. There is some stuff down in the bottom here. Um, I think that's that's it for these six eight that might be all of them um i think i'm missing a couple <clears throat> uh okay i'm gonna move this off to the side because i've got a bunch of stuff in here that I'm just going to throw out onto make some room here. I'm just going to get some stuff. I'm just going to throw it onto the towel here. Just going to make some room. You know, I don't know. I've seen other stuff like this before. I don't know if I can save these and and make a miscellaneous hardware lot or something. I just I just don't know. I'm going to throw this away. Not worth anything. Okay. Before I bring everything out, there's just a bunch of like little stuff in here, but I'm gonna pull this out. This is cool. This is not in very good shape. It is. I don't know if, it's easy, if it's easy enough to see, this is a desk lamp. Um. It. I can tell you in this condition, uh, not worth much of anything. It needs to be completely rewired. Uh, it is. It is a hazard. If you tried to plug it in, bare wires everywhere, probably short out. Um, <clears throat> I'll look it up, but it's probably a, a, I mean, it's literally probably a garbage item. I mean, it would, it would need to be completely restored and they're just not worth, they're just not worth enough to justify that. But I have sold those in the past. If you can find them in good condition, uh, I'd sell them for 25 to $50, but that was 20 years ago and I haven't seen them in that long because I haven't really looked for them. Um, I used to sell a lot of other stuff, um, collectibles, that sort of thing. Okay, here is another, okay, I just found what I think is the final letter for that, or the final number for that set, so that's a complete set. I'm still missing one of those others. See, there are the keys. Ooh, I gotta be careful because there's, um, in fact, there's a lot of razor blades and stuff in here, so I gotta be careful so I don't cut myself. And what I'm gonna do is dump this out right onto. There's some interesting looking stuff in here, so I'm gonna sort through it. Plastics Company. That's a tiny little squirt gun. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even know. And that one's not even a pen. I, I don't even know. Oh, here we go. Phillips and Garage, Ford, John Deere, Argyle, Wisconsin, Larry and Paul Phillips. I'm going to hang on to that one. Phillips and. Uh, there's a John Deere pencil. Uh, anything. Strato right. Uh, this is all office stuff. This is probably uh, lead. Schaefer's super smooth leads. I do have a couple of pencils like that, which I'll probably so I'll probably hang on to that. Napa Solomon Auto Parts. Um, I honestly don't know how well stuff like this sells. Uh, it may be I could put it in a lot and get you know okay money for it. Um, I think.
Theo Ham, BRG Brewing Company, St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, that's cool. The beer refreshing. That's an old Ham's. It's an old Ham's uh, bottle opener. I remember Ham's. Haven't haven't, seen, haven't had any of that in years. Uh, keys. There's keys in here that I think I've got. They're Ford brand keys. Um, I've got a key lock lot over here that I just sort of have been putting stuff aside in right up here um, that I'm gonna just put those in and, and um, I might be able to use it what is in here this is just, I'm probably just gonna throw most of this away Those are little tacks. Um, it's a bushing of some kind. Looks like a. There's some brass and stuff in here. Um, another key. Uh, these razor blades are probably just going to go in the garbage. Most of this stuff. Um, not really enough to. Uh, Bill's Service Station, Washing, Greasing, and Oil, Argyle, Wisconsin. There's another John Deere pencil. Uh, ooh, Amazon. Amazon pins. Well, that's interesting. It's a pin, pin dispenser. Almost stabbed myself silly on that a minute ago. <laughs> uh, fuses. I can use fuses, so these will be personal I have another I have a stack of those over there I take them out to the garage every so often put them in my stash uh, I don't know what the heck that is that's weird I'm not sure what that is um, well so there really isn't much you know there's a is that a skate key or a, like a wind-up toy key that with my key lot. Um, well, I was thinking there'd be something more interesting here, so I guess uh, that's the end of the tote. So on that disappointing note, it's time to end. Thanks for watching.